So now I want to um, just share a quick story with you guys, and I'm not going to take very long, but um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the butterfly effect. I don't know how many of you have heard of the butterfly effect. Anybody? A few? Okay. So basically you understand it's named after a very broad outline that a butterfly could flap its wings in Cape Town and cause a hurricane in Joburg. So that's kind of the concept, like something small, a small change can make a really big change later on. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about the butterfly effect in my life with St. Luke's Hospice, but I just want to elaborate quickly. So say you are driving home after work, okay, and there's a bus broken down in one lane and you need to merge. Um, but nobody wants to let you in, so people are just keep on going and you wait like 10 minutes before somebody lets you in. Anyway, you're super annoyed, you get home, you're moaning to your husband, you're like, yo, people suck, man. Like, this was so tough and nobody wanted to let me in and you know, people these days. And your kid is in their room listening and their worldview is like, hmm, life is tough, you've got to fight for what you want, things are not good, the world is a scary place. And so in that moment, that child's worldview would be changed a little bit. Or let's say you got stuck behind that same bus, but the very first person who's in the right lane said, hey, come on, like, take the gap quickly. And you're like, oh, humans are amazing. Thank you so much. You get home to your husband, you're like, you never guess. Bus broken down in the lane, the first person let me in. And I was like, oh, thank you. So now I'm home on time. I can make supper or whatever. Your kid's listening and your kid's like, hmm, there's some good in the world. Like, that's really cool. And the child's worldview is kind of, shifted that way. And so that's kind of a really practical example of a butterfly effect. So the, the actual um, definition of the butterfly effect is, in chaos theory, the butterfly effect is the sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which a small change in one state of a deterministic nonlinear system can result in large differences in a later state. And so that's why I just rather used example. Because <laughs> that was helpful. <laughs> okay, so I want to I want to tell you about the butterfly effect of Zen Luke's in my life. So now obviously this theory is a little bit controversial, so we just we're gonna skip the controversy and just understand it for what I for what I'm telling you guys. When I was 10 years old, my grandmother was diagnosed with lung cancer and it spread all over her body. And from the day that she was diagnosed to the day that she died, it was one month. So it was like quick, she got the diagnosis and she was done. But during that time, St. Luke's Hospice visited her, I think every day. Yeah, they stopped past every day. And they also gave her a type of mechanism that helped, I don't know if they call it a stent or a, a shunt where you can put medication directly into the person's body rather than inject. So St. Luke's, oh, pizza for everyone. <laughs> um, so that was the first time I had ever really taken note of the name St. Luke's Hospice West Coast. And though, you know, if you live in the area, you'll hear about St. Luke's every now and again. You might have even stopped off at the charity shop. But this was a significant moment in my life. So let's just say the butterfly flapped its wings when I was 10. So we fast forward a little bit um, to 2020. And my grandfather, who was the husband of my grandmother who died when I was 10, he, um, he went on his merry way into the afterlife, also with the help of St. Luke's, because they provided him with a device whereby um, it could like input morphine to him somehow, something, I'm not a medical person. But so once again, they really came to his aid. And it was so important. So um, in this time, he was living with my parents, and it was a very difficult time for them, obviously, to look after him and stuff, but St. Luke's Hospice was there again. So let's say the butterfly flapped its wings when I was 10, <laughs> and then the wind started to blow a little bit stronger in 2020. Something else that happened in 2020, which kind of put me along this thought, is that my husband was diagnosed with leukemia. And uh, it, it was a long road to where he had a stem cell transplant, and then he contracted very bad pneumonia and passed away. But uh, I'm not trying to be sad in telling you that. What I want to tell you is that um, during that time, I had the most awesome privilege that I've had so far in my life, I think, and that was to walk him home, to walk him into eternity. And that's what St. Luke's Hospice does. They walk people into eternity. They provide comfort and dignity to people who are not going to make it. So it's, it's a pretty hectic job, which is why it's so important. What a privilege to be able to walk somebody into eternity. I read this um, saying at his memorial and it resonated with me so deeply when I first read it and it said, at the end of the day, we are all just walking each other home. 
And that's always stuck with me. And so not only did the butterfly flap its wings when I was 10 and the wind blew a little bit more when my grandfather passed away, but I kind of feel like I had a glimpse into what St. Luke's actually does because I did it for almost a year. And it's, yeah, as I said, it's such a privilege, but, but so hectic. Also because when somebody is on their deathbed and they know Jesus, they have that assurance of salvation. They, they know that there's going to be a mighty celebration afterwards. They have a hope. However, on the side of eternity, there is still a lot of fear and struggle and pain that comes along with walking the last uh, months or years or however long it takes. So, um, as I say, they're doing amazing work. Now, we're not all called to do this, which is the, the good news, um, but some of us will be for one person, but not all of us are called to do it as a job. But the thing is, what's so cool is that by being here today, by dressing up, by attending, by donating, you've actually linked arms with St. Luke's Hospice and made a difference in somebody's eternity. You guys now are all playing a role in walking people home as soon as we buy those sheepskins and mattresses. So um, sheepskins, I was like, why do they need sheepskins in summer? But it's, it's for bed sores apparently. Yeah, it helps greatly with bed sores and then obviously the hospital mattresses. So each one of you, and I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm proud of myself, because you've provided that, you've provided that comfort and that dignity to people in their last moments, which is super, super important. So back to this butterfly effect, okay? So the butterfly flapped its wings in when I was 10, which was like five years ago. Uh, <laughs> the butterfly flapped its wings when I was 10, the wind picked up a bit in 2020 and blew into a hurricane this year when we said, when we all met together, the events team, we decided, okay, what are we going to raise funds for? Now, it's all good and well to raise a lot of money and give it to a big cancer organization, but really the heart of Kingsgate is that we want to link arms with people to make a difference in our community and in our city specifically. <laughs> So there's nothing wrong with giving large amounts of money to charity if that's where your heart lies. By all means, I think all charitable efforts have their place. But St. Luke's Hospice um, was suggested in the meeting, and I was like, yes, and the hurricane blew <laughs> for me anyway. So my butterfly effect came full swing because um, obviously we're all here today and we've raised some very good money. So um, what I want to say in closing is thank you for being history makers and community changers. It doesn't matter if it was 10 Rand, it doesn't matter if you are here by sponsorship, the fact that you took the time to dress up and celebrate and be with us today all adds to that. So thank you. Thank you, history makers. Thank you, community changers. And so I'm really hoping and praying that this will be the start of Butterfly Wings Flapping for you guys and for other people as well. Maybe not just with St. Luke's, but whatever it is in your life that needs to now take a lift off and become a hurricane. So be inspired, be challenged to do more and pat yourselves on the back because we've done it guys. We've raised a lot of money, which you'll hear about shortly. I'm not gonna give it away. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you.